But it's politically expedient to make this all about politics when it's really about people. And according to the Supreme Court, the law, I'll try to keep it about people while, while talking to a couple of politicians who I'm really glad are here. Democratic State Representative Roberto Alonzo is here and Republican Representative for te te State of Texas, Pete Sessions, just off a plane from Washington. I mean, just off a plane from Washington. <laughs> I, I want, uh, let's start with you, Mr. Sessions, Congressman Sessions. What is your read? How would you quantify or qualify what happened today? Well, what happened today is the Supreme Court ruled four to four, meaning that we're without one Supreme Court Justice, Justice Scalia passed away. So what this means is that there was, in essence, no real decision except to support the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals from the court decision that was made down in the valley by Federal District Judge Andy Hainan. So I believe it's a clear ruling that what the president has done is he exceeded his executive authority. Now, it is important to note <laughs> that you could have come out of the Ninth Circuit on the West Coast and it could have been different. But the significance of this is the Supreme Court has now said this is the law of the land until that changes. So from that perspective, it is significant. All right, I, I'm going to give Mr. Alonzo a chance to see if that read is the same. Now, the, the bottom line is uh, we don't have a fifth judge, I mean a ninth judge that could make the difference. Why don't we have a, a ninth judge? Because they've been holding back. We could have decided, put it to rest, number one. Number two. As the president has said, this is going to be decided in the election. Whoever wins is going to appoint the ninth judge, and it's going to go either way. Now, as you said, this is not just politics. This is about people. People have worked here, and the people have said they're going to be very upset. You know, uh, I think uh, in, in the United States, we have an opportunity to take care of people. This is was a way. This has nothing to do with giving papers to anybody. This is just to say, people, you have an opportunity to be here. You can work. You contribute. Uh, but the Supreme Court said no. But this is going to continue for another discussion. And, and it is an interesting class of people. Uh, it depends on who you, who you read and who you believe. But the number that's thrown around currently about 11 million plus illegal immigrants in the United States. This would have affected about 4 million. That's correct. Uh, uh, parents of children born legally here, that's also correct. children brought here uh, illegally some years ago who have lived here, here their whole lives. So it was a specific targeted group. Let's talk about that, though. Is it true that the Supreme Court ruled on those people, uh, Mr. Sessions, or did it just rule on the president's right to do what he did? The Supreme Court some 19 times has ruled that the president has exceeded his executive authority. This is not a new issue for the court. What was new was the way it was brought. Some 26 states felt like the president not only exceeded his authority, but in doing so worked completely around them and the Congress to invent his idea of the law. And that is where I think all of us should take pause and say we need to at least work with the states. The states are the people. The states are the ones that felt were harmed in this case, and that is why this happened. There's over a billion dollars a year in new cause that states have to take up as a result of this action, and now the states have an equal chance to say that was a clear violation Mr. of the Lonzo, law. Mr. Alonzo, we yeah. hear, I, I, people listening at home sure. have heard both Republicans and Democrats we need immigration reform. We need immigration. What does that even mean anymore when both sides are saying it and it's not getting done? Why Why can't we get past that? First, let me say, uh, with all due respect to the congressman, you can have President George Bush, you can President Barack Obama. They make decisions, they make executive orders. I have those numbers, by the way. That's uh, correct. President Obama has done 235 so far, George W. Bush 291, President Clinton 364. Same basic numbers. No, and for, no, for perspective, no, Theodore Roosevelt in 12 years had 3,500. That's my point. It depends. You know, we have a president. He has a right to do executive orders, just like we never question President George Bush doing executive order or any of the other president. But we can say that he did illegal. It's not illegal. He, it's legal. You can overturn with two thirds of the House and Senate. But as you come back to the I, issue, I think of people are frustrated by immigration reform. Immigration right. reform. It, it doesn't get done, but everybody's calling for it. So. What is it and why isn't it happening? Well, I'll tell you this. There's an opportunity for the Congress to do it. They didn't do it. The, the president stepped up, stepped up and he did it.
Now, the, the, under our democracy, the Supreme Court has a right to rule. It just so happens, you know, the Senate didn't approve a, uh, another justice where we could have finalized it. Let's move on. President Obama had a, a Democratic House and Senate six years ago. That's and, correct. And he didn't get it done either. Let's, let's ask, I want to ask you about this. The, the, the government's argument, and this was a legal argument, it essentially said the state didn't have a voice sort of in this international That's immigration correct. arena. That's correct. And does this change that? This, does this ruling maybe say maybe a state does have a voice in the international arena and making its own rulings about immigration? And hey, real quick, uh, Congressman, I would say this is not a state issue. You can say it. We have state laws and we have federal laws. This is in the federal level. We can say as much as we want to state it is not. Otherwise, why would we need congressmen? Why would we need so, uh, Supreme Court just This is a federal law. There are federal laws and there are state laws. But the 4-4 vote is over whether the federal government overstepped and damaged the state. And so the Supreme Court is willing to listen to the state having a problem with what the federal government is doing. In, in fact, it dealt much with not only payments that they would be responsible for, school districts, hospital districts, but also it told them what to do with their driver's licenses on the identification of people who are non-citizens. And that was part of the essence of what their argument. They were being put off on and told what to do without due process. All right, you're one of our Washington congressmen. Are, are you going to tell me we need immigration reform? I'll right. let you say that. I bet you, we, you want to say that. We need immigration reform. In fact, reform. we do. Here's the line. What does that mean? Well, the, I am for what is called a guest worker plan. And that is a plan where we would essentially take people who are in this country and they would have to become documented. The president wants them to have citizenship. And so the line is about whether we would have direct access to citizenship, placing these people who might be here, anybody in this country. Now, you know that's become difficult after 9-11 because it's not just Hispanics. It is a lot of other people who are looking for citizenship status and we have a dangerous set of circumstances in this country. Less is it about Hispanics today. It should not be. It is about others who've come from other places in the world who want citizenship, and we think they should have to go through a background check and a process. I understand that, but I bet that bothers you. We're talking about, you know, children who were brought here when they were children, no, and, 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 and we're hearing about possible right. terrorists coming from other countries. I mean, no. I don't, those two probably don't want it's to work. Not, it's not only for Hispanics. It's for Let me tell you this. This is not just the president. The Senate, both Republicans and Democrats, said we want immigration reform. The, the Republicans and Democrats and the Senate have already said they want a pass to citizenship. We were in a we we're in a What do you think of his guest wor worker? No, idea? I don't agree with it. No, okay. That's, that's but that's enough. me. Of course not. That's that's my position. But I'll, but as, as the Congress has said, it's not just the president. Republicans and Democrats, and I think we can get there if people are willing to get to, to that kind of discussion. I'm su suspicious, and tell me I'm wrong, I'm suspicious it's too good a political football right now to kick back and forth. It's too good, juicy politics, you can get your bases riled up, and why would we want to give that up right now? Well, the, the real argument, really, Steve, does come down to can you come to this country illegally and obtain citizenship status? Republicans argue we can have a guest worker plan, but we have to know who you are. And the last time the Senate addressed this, they said any person that applied had to be accepted for citizenship status within 24 hours. Now that's not a wise policy. A country that does not take care of its border and admit citizens based upon their own criteria will be in trouble. And America brings in over a million people a year, but they go through a background status. They learn what America is and who America is, and we believe that's the law. I hear that's the way to do it. Are frustrated how long it takes, Mr. Lonzo? Last word: Is this going to happen? Is immigration reform going to happen at some point? I think it will happen once we have uh, people to understand the necessity. As we've done it before. Uh, President Ronald Reagan, the hero of the Republicans, did it. I think the Republicans are there. If they follow Ronald Reagan, we'll do the same thing. It's just the definition of.